How to Succeed in Online Business by Adapting Fast If your goal is to earn a living with online business, you must fill a need in the marketplace. It is as simple as that dot if you have 100 products, ebooks, websites, WSOs, etc. And each averages $1 a day net profit, you are earning $3,000 a month in net profit. Obviously, if those same 100 products are earning $100 a day, then your monthly profit would be $10,000 a day or $300,000 a month. I know that sounds insane, but it's true. Do the math, now you probably won't have a winner making $100 a day every time you create something, but if you only had say 2% doing $100 a day and the rest doing $1 a day, you'd earn around $6,000 a month. And, the more that you create products online, the better you will get at spotting winners early. If your goal is to make a good living online, you need to work consistently to create good products that fill needs that people have. If you can solve someone's problem, teach them something, or answer a question they have, then you have a valuable commodity to sell online. The key then is to quickly develop and launch products that are valuable and that fill a need in the niche you are working in and then get the word on the products out there. You can create a great product, but if you do not have your product in front of the right people, then you have no real customers. This is why building a buyer's list for your particular product or service is essential. In a famous marketing book called The Boron Letters, Gary Halbert offers the sage advice to get your list of potential customers together first and then create a product that fills a need these customers have. An example might be getting a list of all new dentists that have just launched a practice in the past year. If you have this list and can figure out what these new dentists want to know, or a problem they need solving creating a business website for instance you can tailor a solution and then market the solution to them. This is just an example, but you can see the potential in thinking like your ideal potential customer. This kind of result-oriented thinking cuts down on wasted time with non-interested leads and saves you a lot of trips down blind alleys. Once you develop a model that works for you on research and product creation you can scale up big time. What I would advise is to start developing one good product in a niche you like working in, because you will spend a lot of time there in the beginning, and then launch that product as well as you can. While you are refining the marketing for that product, begin a second associated product. Development will probably go faster because you already understand the niche and the needs of customers from having created the second product. Launch the second product and then immediately start on the third product while taking a little time to refine the marketing on the first two every few days. Once you have 10 products complete take a day off to review results and tweak your processes. Working in suites on 10 makes things clean and gives you some hard edges as far as niches. What I mean is you may have a suite of 10 products dealing with creation of Kindle books, and then you may have a second suite of 10 products focused on search engine optimization, SEO, and another suite of 10 products about working on arbitrage. The idea here is that you leverage the expertise you are building on any one suite of products to help you get them done quickly and efficiently. In between starting on new suites of products you are reviewing best practices and looking for the bigger winners you are creating and launching. You will start to see trends when you work steadily. For instance, you may find that one type of product does great when marketed on YouTube and another product only sells when you have affiliates emailing their lists. Remember, this is a learning process and things change in the online marketing world all the time. Think back to what was popular 10 years ago or even just a year back. Marketers and online business entrepreneurs that can quickly adapt are the ones that can be ready to profit from changes in the market.